Like the Westland Scout, the Westland Wasp was developed from the P-531 program in the 1960s. The Wasp fulfilled the Royal Navy's demand for a small anti-submarine helicopter that could land on the deck of a frigate. The Royal Navy's demand called for a manned torpedo-carrying helicopter. After evaluation of the P-531, the first pre-production Wasp flew for the first time October 28, 1962. Full production followed not long after that. The Westland Wasp was basically a navalized version of the Westland Scout. The main differences were a unique four-wheeled castering undercarriage, and the ability of negative pitch of the rotor blades. It had an additional fuel tank, and both the tail boom and rotor blades were foldable, to allow stowage in small hangars on ships. The Wasp also had the capacity to carry underslung loads, from the semi-automatic cargo release unit, mounted under the fuselage. The helicopter was suitable for short-range transport missions, and for casualty evacuation with room for one stretcher. Later modifications included the capacity to carry SS-11 missiles, that were suitable for targeting small surface targets or shore positions. Later it was replaced by the AS-12, which had longer range. The Westland Wasp HAS-1 entered service in the Royal Navy in 1964. It was used in its primary role, but also for training purposes and for light liaison duties in the commando assault squadrons. It was effective as a submarine killer, especially when paired with a Wessex HAS-3 submarine hunter. During the Falklands War in 1982, WASPs were used to attack the Argentinian submarine Santa Fe. AS-12 missiles were used, and the crew of the Santa Fe were forced to abandon the submarine and surrender to British forces. The Westland WASP was retired from Royal Navy use in 1988. The WASP was also used by Brazil, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Netherlands, New Zealand, and South Africa. In total, 133 helicopters were produced.